here to shine some light on your destiny. I'm Maud Garrett. Literally. And I'm Steve Zaragoza. And this episode's brought to you by Full Sail University. Now, the games industry makes stupid amounts of cash when done right. Activision poured $500 million into making the SPF sci-fi game Destiny. Yeah, I, I've heard of it. It did manage to make its money back, though, but ask any gamer today what they think of it, and it's a mix of, I've clocked over 200 hours and counting, to it's the most repetitive FPS game not worth your time. Me, I played it for like two or three weeks and then went, oh, this is boring. Personally, I played it for about 15 hours, was mostly caught up in grinding the same quests over and over again, and I probably won't go back. Which is why their marketing is trying to come up with some pretty inventive if not preposterous ways to grant you access within the game. You may have heard that Activision and Bungie have teamed up with the energy drink Red Bull in a cross promotion where players of Destiny are encouraged to purchase the energy drink to grant them not only an XP booster that will bump up your gains for about 30 minutes, but access to an epic new quest called the Dagon King, which will be available from September 18th to December 31st. Wow, yeah. did I get through that whole thing without fucking up? You did, and then you just did that and it fucked it up. I mean, not really, I was done. Editor can cut this part out. Oh. The quest is brand new, something that committed players are yearning for. But to only allow it once the energy drink that you may not even want, and for perfectly good reasons, is not bought, this reeks of blatant corporate greed that is more desperate than innovative. Mm -hmm. uh, but I get it, pairing video games with energy drinks, it just works, that makes sense somehow, because it's like gaming all day and shit. I know, who plays for just an hour here or there? If I'm gonna game, I'm gonna commit my whole damn day, gladly. This is just plain gross. I mean, look at the quest image. Uh, uh, that mission uh. is making making me sad. The cool thing to come out of this campaign is that other developers who also see the ridiculousness of this are what I like to call taking the piss. Techland, the studio behind Dying Light, quickly released a similar promotion where players of the game could score a premium weapons pack. Yes. If players. Yes pour themselves a glass of water. From the tap? Yes. Which is free? Yes. This is great. Now not only are they getting shameless promotion, but they're calling out that this latest game marketing trend is a joke. And that quick turnaround, that was fast. That yeah. was just brilliant. Oh, you cheeky game developers. Nice work. Hey, have you guys ever considered working in video games development? Full Sail University offers programs that can prepare you for coding, art, producing, or mobile gaming development and can teach you the tools, technology, and workflow used by today's stooges. Studios. Stooges. Full Sail University have offered game programs for over a decade now, and grads have gone on to work on titles like GTA V, Assassin's Creed Black Flag, and plenty more. And plus, students receive a laptop along with game industry software at a deep institutional discount. Visit fullsail.edu slash sfnerd to learn more. So what say you? Is this Red Bull promotion not cool? Or are you like, well, I was, you know, drinking Red Bull anyway, and I play Destiny, so this makes absolute sense to me, and it's not putting me out at all. Actually, how many of you people exist that do both of those? I'd like to see him. Do you like Dying Light more for taking taking people's piss? No, it's it's taking the piss. It's like when you make fun of someone or something, you take, it's a colloquial I, term, I just heard you say it earlier and so I was just repeating it. I'm Maud Garrett. And I'm Steve Zaragoza. Your language is different to me. Don't take my piss. Don't take it, don't touch it, don't. I could probably sell your piss online, dude, no joke. Business source bed! <laughs> Hi, I'm Jame Richards, lead supervising animator on Pixar's Inside Out. Where are we? Ladies, mi bellissima. My name is Lust. Come away with me tonight to my private island in the Medulla Oblongata. Ooh, I'm so tired. Ah, I'm sick of E3. There's no game here that's worth waiting in line for freaking two hours. Oh, sorry. <laughs> 